heavier than the last time I had it done. Oh, but it feels so good. Yeah. We went and did a, uh, a light pack today and covered, I don't know, what, like seven miles or something today. We did a lot of climbing, a lot of listening, and a lot of bow hiking. And we just fueled up on a juicy burger, a couple carb-loaded beers. We're gonna hike in tonight and hopefully be right in the elk woods for tomorrow morning. Two bears. That's eight minutes from trailhead. So we'll get eight minutes and set up camp. This is about there. <laughs> yeah. That the two bears. Why don't we just go get a bear tag and come back and get them bears? I'll get that. What'd they say? Two bears eight minutes into the trailhead. Someone saw them? Yeah. Sweet. We're so I was just bears. saying, yeah, we should just go eight minutes in and place like, camp. That, that fits <laughs> well with us, though. We camped with bears a couple nights. We like bears. Bears are tight. It's, um, it's morning five, I think, Monday. Um, last night we went out, got some good food to eat, went into town, refueled a little bit, hiked back in the dark um, pretty late. We set up camp uh, just down the way here, and by the time we got our tarps out and everything, um, we kicked up a hive of some killer bees or something <laughs> on the swarm, and we all started getting stung again, so we bolted out of there, moved down the trail, ended up kind of camping right alongside the trail because nothing else is really flat in here. This is a new area with like a ton of water. I mean, we've got a legitimate flowing river essentially behind us. Um, so we're gonna head up back in here, stay on the trail for a little bit and then start climbing back up um, and try a new spot that has not been touched yet. So we're fired up. We've gotten stung by bees, maybe a cumulative 20 times. If we could find elk like we find bees, we'd probably be poachers. Finally, finally came on some fresh elk sign. We've come up in this gulch and we found a nice flat bottom. We've been in steep shit this whole time. Finally, we found something flat. Can you hear me all right? Finally, we found something flat and there's sign everywhere in here. I mean, if you look at this tree, that tree, that tree, I mean, look at There's some beds. It looks like a old wallow that they're trying to stir up again. It's right in the middle here. So I feel pretty good about where we are. It looks like they ran up the ridge. The bees are everywhere still. We're worried the wind's gonna switch soon, but I think we're gonna just try to charge up this hill, see if we can stir them up before the wind switches. That's about all we can do.
finally got our first view.
here was on this little bench running up to this perfect valley. So we kind of worked up and around, dropped in and tried to set up on him and no response. The wind was great at first and then it's just kind of swirling. So we decided to back down and we're gonna back lower and see if we can keep hearing him up top. We found this wallow right here and tons of sign. I have no idea what day it is, but the same day that we located the elk, and because just how the thermals and the wind was going today, we decided to uh, back out a little bit and get over to a kind of an opposing ridge so we can continue to listen to them and be ready in the morning for when the thermals switch and start coming down the hill. There was just a really, really big risk of us blowing them out if we tried to go up after them. And so now we're getting to sit here uh, in the evening and they just started bugling again. So I'm sure it'll be bugling all night and we're gonna be amped up for the morning.